or whatever. But uh, we're excited to be here. We are going to be uh, sharing some of our favorite finds, I guess, Amazon finds that we have that we, we use almost every day. And so um, I'm here with my friend Paul. Paul, tell people a little about yourself and uh, where they can find you. Yeah, hey guys. So you, uh, you can find all the finds we're going to talk about on my side today at paulgatter.com slash live. Uh, but I am the founder of powwows.com, the place to go and experience, connect, and explore Native American culture. So go check that out if you're interested in anything Native American culture. Uh, so yeah, and avid Disney fan. And That's, right. uh, that's how we yeah, connected. That's exactly. Right. Which is always a good thing, right? Right. Is your So I'm looking and my Amazon is not working. Is yours working? Mine is not work. Mine is streaming, but there's nothing there. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see what's going on here. So bear with us really quickly. Oh, here we go. Mine is going live. So uh, maybe it was just a little slow. So see if it shows up there, Paul, for you. I'm going to go I'm to my page see. and see here. Yeah, let's go check out on the page itself. So, uh, yeah, we're live on my on my page. So hopefully um, it'll work for yours. So uh, this is – we are going live everywhere, folks. If you've never uh, checked, uh, checked out Amazon Live, we'd love for you to go over to um, – jeffc.live is my channel which you'll see underneath my video all the stuff we're going to be talking about today and of course i would love for you guys to check those out and if you want to see what paul's talking about today it's at uh, paulgowder.com forward slash live and you can see all his products down below but uh, yeah amazon live it's uh it's sweeping the nation nation folks so uh it's a lot of fun um but we're going to be talking about stuff that we use all the time so paul i think i went first last time you can go first this time all right, so I'll tell you what I did. I actually, and I don't encourage anybody doing this because then you're gonna you, you'll start adding up the numbers and it's not good. But I went through my entire order history from 2022. <laughs> um, whew, there's a lot, but and so I, I went through and found the items that I'm still using today and that I still like. Mm -hmm. You know, of course, there's a lot of stuff that we order that are just you know like food products, or whatever. I'm not gonna those are okay right. but these are things i use every day so let me start with and so well and let me i'll preface it too so one of my big projects this year was redoing my office so you're going to see some things in my list that kind of come from that so i'll start with a really easy one this mm. battery charger oh my camera will there you focus. go there you go there it goes so one of the things i wanted to do in my office is and i have it right back here is i have a shelf just for charging and so I wanted to have something that I could leave my batteries in. Because I mean, how many devices do we all have, right? GoPros and cameras and uh, tons of stuff. And I'm always like, every time I want to go use something, right. the battery's not charged. Right. So this, I always make sure I've got my double A's and triple A's charged. Um, but I also set up on the shelf, all my camera batteries are charging. All of that other stuff is always charged and I can just go and grab it. So that was that has been really cool is to always have a set of batteries that's ready to go. And this holds a lot. Um, and it's easy to use because these, you know, oh, shift yeah. up and down so you can put different sizes in. Um, and you get the readout, which I really like, so I can know when they're charging. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm also using, I've got a mix of the, the Amazon basic batteries. And um, I don't even know how to pronounce these, but uh, is it ELOP or? Yeah, um, I have some of the ELOP yeah. ones too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are really great batteries too. I'll use those in my camera strobes and things. So yeah, I love having a charger that's just always there for me. That's a great one. You know what the funny thing is, is I had for my first, my actual <laughs> first one was, uh, so the Amazon basics, because I mean, yes. you can't have enough batteries. Now these aren't the rechargeable ones, but I have, you know, I get these by the brick and I think these are the, either the, the triple A's and they come in. I usually like, I'll take one of these, little um these little packs and just throw them in my my uh backpack because these will fit my like my mouse I, and my also my clicker that i use when i'm doing presentations and so yeah. i just keep these in these little saran wrap things so they don't accidentally discharge on something and throw these in those little pouches that you get on your on your laptop bag or something because and i've given them out like people are like oh my thing ran down today what am i going to do and i'm like hey here you go i got some for you and so it's always good to have uh these little these little bad boys with you but and, and i i think they last just as long as any any brand name ones i use these amazon yeah. basics all the time so and they have the rechargeable ones you were saying they do they have rechargeable amazon basics um they're in the green color 
cool. um, that work really great. Uh, I do the same thing though. I, I buy them by the, the non rechargeable and the recharge, I buy them by the big sleeve. Mm -hmm. Um, actually went and yesterday we, I was, um, putting up some things and realized we're almost out of our non rechargeable one. So I got to place an order. Yeah. Good reminder. <laughs> yeah. It's always great to have them. So yeah, batteries are a big thing. I always like to start the show with some stuff that like, you know, everybody needs like, and I have, I have, I don't yeah. have a, I think mine only has like spots for four or six. I can't remember, but we have that actually right. Like in our kitchen counter, because everybody steals batteries from the remotes and you just being able to swap them out for like your TV, uh, that kind of thing. So yeah, those, those rechargeable things are amazing. So yes. Love All right. Them. What else you got? All right. So I'm going to go to one next. I, I can't show this because it's out in the garage, but let me, um, you can flip over to the screen share. Sure. It's coming up now. This actually a friend gave this to me. Um, he bought a couple for himself and he's like, Hey, look, you got to get this. It's the MyQ um, smart garage controller. This thing. All right. First of all, <laughs> if you're like me and you have a garage door opening, you've got the little clickers. Um, we may have lost ours, right? <laughs> and, and they, you know, they, switching cars or whatever, or teenager in the house. Mm -hmm. We only have one left now. We started right. with four. So this lets you open the garage door with an app. So I stole the garage door back because I lost one. My wife lost one. So I took it out of my daughter's car. So I have the actual garage door opener. But now everybody has this on their phone and they can get in and out. And even cooler for me recently tesla added this app to their cars and so now when i drive up because of this app oh. my garage door opens and closes automatically that's freaky scary that's cool though that is really it's cool. really cool yes love this one so that's another one that you would use every day if you get out like you usually work do. from home yeah, too. It's yeah. all the time yeah. that's cool and it's that inexpensive really i mean yeah it's in super easy to set up highly recommend the myq system yeah that's really awesome um Let's see, what do I have? Oh, I'm, I'm going to go with some of my my tech stuff that because I do live videos and I record videos every day. And these are, I'm going to do these really, really early in the show. We're going to find them here um, because they are actually half price right now. And I have some, and, and what they are, let me go to my my camera here, is they're my, they're my earphones that oh, you can yeah. barely see that go around the ear. And they're, they're, I think they're like 15 bucks right now. So it's their half price. I, I actually ordered another set today because I will run over these um, or I'll, you know, do something. And I, and I, I love these because I, I don't, I don't trust Bluetooth. Um, I actually have had them cut out before during a live show. So I use these, I have some more expensive ones that I use for like, if I'm doing audio or whatever, but these are so good for live or for zoom calls because they, they curl around your ear and you can't, they're clear and you can't really see them when, you know, when I'm, when I have them on. And I have told about these things. I think Michael Hyatt, um, the big blogger and podcaster, um, talked about these, and I've had them ever since. But they are like half price today. And so if you don't have any of these or you do a lot of live streaming, you do a lot of gaming, uh, anytime you need to be on camera, these things are awesome. And they plug in. And the other thing that I get, um, and you can't really see it, but just so I don't have so much... Um, I, I get these, huge, and these are Amazon Basics. They're their extension cables for the audio. So this is going down my back, and I can actually get up and go to my front door. They're that long. <laughs> but I would rather have that than jerk my head back uh, and miss those. But I love the, the Amazon Basics uh, extension cables. So even if you're using, you know, doing any sort of podcasting and you need to have some monitors or even running, you know, wires somewhere for your for your um, your stereo, uh, they are really great to have. But those two things, man, those are I use those every day, every single day. That's awesome. All right, I'm going to go non-tech, but I'm going to go ahead and bring out the Disney. Okay. I doubt I'm going to be able to get this thing to focus, but I'm going to try. Oh, it, there, did. it did. Oh, yeah, these are cool. So the Enzo rings, um, my, I've always, nick. Uh, it's almost, you can almost see it. Um, yeah, there you but go. But my daughter's, um, I've always called her Boo, like as in the Boo from Monsters, Inc., and so for Christmas, they got me this and, and I have a series of I've got several Enzo rings They're, you know, they're the silicone rings, mm -hmm. super comfortable to wear. Um, and now did you got there's a series of Pixar, Star Wars and other Disney characters. So this is the one you can actually see um, Boo's head on it in her uh, pigtail. So that that's is really, really cool. cool. Yeah, yeah. So and those so 
just because I do woodworking and I've worked in shops before, one of the things that's really dangerous is your like metal rings that can get stuck in machinery. And I know a lot of guys are actually replacing their wedding rings with those type of silicone rings uh, because, you know, they, if anything happens, you can get your hand out or it can actually break and come off. And so those are right. really cool too. And they are, they're really comfortable and they look they're sharp. Super- and, and I have, I still have my original wedding band and you know, I'll wear it occasionally, but it, man, it, you, you live in a Southern environment too. Right. It, when it's hot, the last thing I want to do is, oh, and it's hot in the <laughs> I don't know if I can take mine off. <laughs> exactly. So these, uh, you know, I, and I'm outside almost every weekend playing mm-hmm. disc golf or whatever. So these don't bother me. They're easy to wear. And even in the hot days, these are great. Mm-hmm. So um, I'm going to stick with my tech stuff because um, I've got a lot of it. But um, what I'm talking on now is the Shure White Noir uh, microphone. And so I'll go wide here. And this is a special Amazon exclusive. And I appreciate Shure for sending me this. It's their M7 microphone. They have a black one. Um, it's the kind of the baby brother of the big MB um Oh gosh, the, a lot of the the big time like Joe Rogan uses it, but this is like the baby brother. But it's a USB and XLR, so I just love this microphone, and I always recommend it for people who are just starting out like podcasting because you have the option of just plugging it right into your, your USB port, and it it sounds great. It's got a bunch of controls on the top. Uh, you can t- control everything from there. Sure has some great software with it, but also as you grow and maybe your podcast grows and you want to kind of up scale some of your equipment, maybe get a soundboard. Well, then you can also plug in an XLR cable and run it like I am doing into my Rodecaster uh, soundboard, which I love as well. So uh, that this is just a great sounding microphone. It does have, I do have some effects and some crush, compression uh, going with it right now with the Rodecaster. And I just have the, and I'll talk about it later, but I just have the Rodecaster, the, the first one that came out, the Rodecaster Pro. Um, but yeah, if you uh, want a great microphone, these Shure uh, M7s, and this is the limited edition White Noir. Um, check it out because they're really, really cool. Yeah, I've got one too. Or I don't oh, have yeah. the white. But yep, I've got the. Yeah, love, and he's got a that. nice, cool little like flag and all that stuff. Look at all that stuff on there. Oh, your Disney. Yeah. Your these Disney. are all my Magic fans. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. And yours is running. So pull that up again, Paul. I want to, I want to show that off is because so he's running it as a USB, and you can see those lights are on top of the the mic that are lit up and he can actually control the volume and gain and all that stuff and so uh it's really cr- great that you have both options with this mic yeah and, and this one has the, the xlr option and that's something right, i'm right. looking at this year to maybe add the, the roadcaster or something else to mm-hmm. do some other things with the sound but um it and, sounds really great while we're here too i mean the um like i said i redid my office and one of the things i did um is put up i've got my camera my lights all on arms now that are mounted to the desk so Mm -hmm. this is the elgato uh, microphone arm um it's great it's easy to use position anywhere i want it i'm I'm probably doing terrible things with my sound right now but you're fine (laughs) um, and i'm not using it you know it's up and out of the way um so i still got all my desk space Uh, it was easy to mount i love elgato products i've got the lights the yeah everything now is just mounted to the desk yeah Yep, those are great, uh, all great things. Um, speaking of Elgato, and once again, this this whole show today, if you're just joining us, we're talking about stuff uh, Amazon finds that we use every day. I thought, you know, Paul and I both thought this would be a great thing at the start of the year because a lot of times you'll buy things, you'll get things for Christmas or the holidays, and you're like, yeah, I don't need it, and you'll return stuff. But this is stuff that we use all the time. And uh as of going all the time, this is something I, I seriously use every day. And I've got, um, let me pull them up here. Uh, this is the, since you love Elgato stuff, so you'll like this. I have the Elgato uh, Stream Decks. So I have two of these things right now. And these are what I use to control the show. So I'm pressing these buttons. And you can actually see uh, my camera right there. It shows actually uh, up because I'm using Ecamm. and actually shows up uh, inside of the uh you know, the, the little LEDs and you can program all these. I can set them up for multiple shows. You can use them to actually edit video. I have the big XL, uh, one over here. And then also I have the smaller one that's over on this side, but this is what I use to control all my shows. I use them for, I mean, over here, you can see, I've got my lights set up. Um, I can actually mute myself really quickly. Um, just, you can do whatever you want. And the cool thing is it integrates with most really like integrates with ecamm it also integrates with um some of the your, your gaming platforms a lot of gamers use this when they're doing their live streaming 
but you can also set it up for any anything that need, has a keystroke or a keyboard sh- shortcut. You could program it for uh, your Stream Deck. You can actually have a button that'll change like a whole nother scene, so you can have uh, different things. In fact, I'm going to show you. I'm going to switch to a, a different a profile, and because the software is really really cool, I'm going to switch it to my Friday show, and you'll see it all change. See how it all changed now, and then it has all my different camera angles and all the different lower thirds I could pull up. So being able to do that. I need to change it back so I don't screw up this show. Um, that it's just being able to preset stuff for your podcast, for your live show, whatever. Really, really powerful. So I love this a lot. And watch, boom, change cameras. Yeah, I use I use one too. I love it. Um, and as as I'm starting to do more video, yeah, that's mm-hmm. having different profiles. That is so nice. So yeah. nice. Yeah, it's really great. And so speaking of doing a lot of uh live streams recording videos for amazon and actually i'm doing a lot of trying to clean out the house because you know we are our our two-year goal is to move to florida so we're trying to get rid of some of this excess stuff so i've been taking a lot of ebay pictures so Uh this is viozon v-i-o-s-o-z-o-n it is and i'll show you here's the base Uh this is and it folds up really small but this is a a base and it has light in it too um but you flip it over and it becomes a stand for your iphone and so when i'm doing trying to do top-down videos or take ebay pictures anything like that it is a great steady place to put my iphone and get those desktop shots or the overview shots of any kind of things i'm trying to sell and it's got that direct light on it right too it does right right okay so it is, so does it plug in or is it a rechargeable thing? It's rechargeable. Oh. Yeah. Oh. There's, there's the light. Yep. Super nice. No batteries. It's just it's the, the device itself is rechargeable. That is um, cool. And so I keep it on my desk all the time because it's super small. And I'm going to fold it up here and show you. This is it. Wow. That's, that's slick. You can throw that in like a bag or something if you're going, you know, I know you travel and do a lot of video at different places. Yeah. Having something like that. You know, you could take with you just for those overhead shots. It's really, really cool. Yeah, it's nice. Nice. Good find. Now, see, that's the problem about doing these kind of shows is then you you covet the, your partner on the other screen's stuff, and then you have to buy it. So, um, the shopping cart. Yeah, all the same thing. Yes. Yes, exactly. So, it, so there's there's a couple things. You know, this is stuff I use every day, but there's a couple things like if it broke or I lost it, I would go out and get – you know, right away. So that is this next thing. Uh, I'll hold it up here. It is my Ember mug. Um, it is the smart mug. Let me go to widescreen here. Um, it's the smart mug. And now these are pricey, but this is something I would go buy, buy if, and I have if it's broken or something happened. It's metal. Um, and it's got this base on it. What it does is there's an app and it'll keep your um, your beverages whatever temperature you want. And like I have a setting for coffee and I have some, one for tea. I like my coffee a little bit cooler than I like my tea. I like my tea really hot. And so you can set it all and it will keep it warm away from the coaster. So there's a co- rechargeable coaster that's right here that it sets on. And there's where the, the power is. And if I keep it on the coaster, it, it'll keep it warm indefinitely. But if I take it off and take it in the house or whatever, it will last. I think it's about two hours. Dep- it's depending on the temperature you have it at, but about two hours. But I love this thing. I got one for my parents. I, my wife just got one from her school, just gave her one. But I love this Ember mug. I use it all the time. It's really, you, you, one of the things is you don't want to put it in the dishwasher. You don't want to microwave it. You'll kill it. Um, but it's really robust. It, I actually dropped it on concrete. And it, you can see there's a little bit of wow. like stuff kind of chipped off there. But I love this mug. They have a smaller one, but get the big one. You need the big one. Um but I love this thing, um, and it, it does. It'll tell you on your watch. It'll tell you um, on your app, like, hey, your perfect temperature is reached, and you're good to go. But this is one of those things that I would get again, and I have. <laughs> so That's love it. cool. Yeah. All right, here's one. And talking about something I use every day. This is with me every day. I, I have been – I switched over to uh, – let me take out my personal identification there. Um <laughs> we'll do it that so i've been carrying slim wallets for a while yeah. mm-hmm. um because i i'm really bad about having the george costanza wallet and i'll start putting too much in so i love the sw- slim wallets that i can uh-huh. keep i yeah. keep in my front pocket but this one i got oh. this year because it yeah. has a 
place for the air tag um love this one it uh and it does have lots of pockets you can still you know i've got a little bit of money in there um lots of stuff if, you know if that's you cool go to universal you have to keep your tickets with you for all that stuff so i had all my universal tickets right in the back it was easy to to pull those out yeah i really like this thing uh it's still the slim wallet still fits in my front pocket but the air tag piece is See? really nice that is real that is really cool because i have a slim wallet but i just have to stick my air tag down in like this little cubby hole that it's not made for and right. see once again gonna have to get one um but that is really cool because i do love those air tags and being able to like play a chime like where is my wallet and you can find it that yep. is like really really cool so this next one sounds maybe sounds a little bit silly but um i think i have these actually on subscribe and save on Amazon because I get them all the time, but I love these little microfiber towels and this oh, is yeah. the Amazon brand. And uh, I use these for like what you can see. There's some wood chips on it for my woodworking stuff. I use it to clean my glasses cause it won't scratch it. I, I just love these micro and I love having a bunch of them and I don't have to worry about uh, anything. I, you know, once you get them dirty you can throw them in the, the washer, um, but I have use them in my garage. I use them in my office, but they're just all around great. And I love these things. I mean, seriously, I have, I have like a different stations. Like I have one here. I have one over on my couch. I have one hidden underneath where I do my book reading, but I love these microfiber towels. And uh, like I said, I get them on the subscription. They come, I think I get them every three or four months. I get a new patch. So nice. love these things. That's a great idea. All right. In my ongoing quest to clean out the house and to get ready for a move. And because I, my, my day job that I was I retired from last year, I, I, my goal there, I never achieved it, but one of my goals there was to digit help digitize, but digitizing attorneys was impossible. So when I came home, <laughs> I made sure we have, we've got two of the Oh scams. yes. Those are great. The little Fujitsu. This is the S 1300 I. Uh, I've got one on my desk. I've got one on my wife's desk. Uh, and now instead of fighting attorneys to digitize and go paperless, I'm fighting, hopefully she's not watching, fighting um, my wife who loves her paper. So one of our projects for this year is to get her digitized, get her stuff online, help her scan more. But yeah, having having a, a small scanner that's always on your desk is great because you can quickly get the paper into the computer and then get rid of the paper. Um, but I really like the Fujitsu software too. It's super mm -hmm. easy. Slam on me. It was, you know, when I open the scanner, the, the software right. pops right up um, and it's easy to quick and save it as a, a PDF and boom, you're done. Uh, this has been a lifesaver. Yeah. I so I have an older version of that um, and I still use it all the time. You know, being able to just go and digitize something fast, you're right. It's just, you know, and plus with all the cloud storage, like you can keep it on your hard drive, but you can also put it somewhere where you, right. if you, if you need a backup. So that is, that is key. So that is, that's a great, great idea. So let's see what else do. Um, and I talked about this a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and go back to these things that I, that I love. And I, and Paul, I think we share this. So uh, you probably, all, you know, one, I love um, my MX keyboard um, and this allows me to switch between all of the you know I have a streaming computer and I also have uh, this computer my my, uh, my new Mac studio and being able to switch between them seamlessly by just hitting a button and have not having a big uh, KVM switch that you know you have to switch your monitor and all that stuff and plug it in it's all built in I love this and it's and it's linear key so it's like it's just it's they're the mechanical. I just, I love this keyboard and it's chunky and it's it's it lasts a long time. The charge you charge it up right there, um, but I love this keyboard and I'm gonna go ahead and jump ahead just because I they're they're kind of a set. But I also love my uh, MX mouse and this is the S version. Um, it's also a rechargeable one, but it also allows me. You can see here at the bottom. I can just switch between those two different computers. So I just hit two buttons and my computer is, I can control it with my mouse keyboard uh, on my PC, my gaming computer. But this thing is awesome. This is the S version, which allows you to actually use it on glass. It's got this quiet click where you, you, um, you don't really hear it. It's not really, it's like a really soft click. It feels really good to, to use, but it's also got um, this really nice scroll wheel where you can hit a button and make it go line by line or just go zooming really quick. 
just by hitting a button. It's also got the side scroller. It's got another button here you can program. Two buttons here on the side, forward and back if you want. But it's the Logitech software for this is really, really cool for both. It controls both the Mac, I mean, both the keyboard and the mouse. Uh, it's really cool that you can program it, see how much battery you have, all that kind of thing. I never thought I'd quit using my my Apple Magic Mouse, but I really, really, really like this mouse. And there's where you charge it, right there. So, love it. Love it, love it, love it. And you have one yeah, too, I, I think. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I switched to it this year too from yeah. the, the Magic Mouse. For me, it, this fits my hand so much yeah. better, and it's a lot more comfortable, especially when I'm using it all mm -hmm. day long. Yeah. It makes a difference. Yeah. So I really like uh, both of those. Um, so I highly recommend. All right. So, what you got? Oh, wrong, wrong camera. So I told you I was doing a, a desk, a whole office clean out. And you can yeah. see here, my camera's uh -huh. going up. The up, uh -huh. uplift desk, yes. being able to, one, have a desk that I can mount everything to, but being able to stand up a little bit during the day and keep working, that has been awesome. Um, yeah, I've got I've got some back issues and had some surgeries. So uh, sitting in one place for a long time can hurt. Um, but you know, you're supposed to your Apple Watch reminds you, right? You're supposed to stand right. up every once in a while. Uh, and for me, one, I love the desk space of the uplift desk. I've, I've got the um, it's like the 40 or 30 something by 80. It's really big, lots of space. Um, you know, and they're only a couple inches thick. So all of these things we've been talking about, all the Elgato stuff, all of that mounts to it. Um, and then you get a bunch of presets where you can raise it different heights. It has been fantastic. You know, yeah, this makes a huge difference. Just being able to get up and, yeah. and stretch, but keep on working. Uh, it's awesome. Um, and like, you know, during the day, it, it's great because I can get up and... <laughs> I get antsy too, sitting still for it. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm able to, you know, get up and uh, my daughter's come in here before and she's like, what are you doing? I was like, well, I'm, you know, I'm just listening to some music getting, you know. Yeah. So let me, let me pull it up too. Let me, so you can, yeah. So this is the, see, I didn't know they, so I have an uplift desk as well. I didn't know they could buy it on Amazon, but I love yeah. my uplift lift desk. Yeah. The, I've got the 80 inch wide one mm -hmm. um, and it, and the deeper version. So it's really not, I mean, it's tons of space. And uh, I was surprised. I really thought it was going to be challenging to put together, uh, but it wasn't. These are really not too bad. Um, it's better than some of the other stuff, you know, I've ordered that had, you know, came in 10,000 parts with no instructions. It was, and then there was tons of videos on how to right. do it, how to set it up. It's got really good cable management. Yeah, I love this thing. That's awesome. So uh, one of the things that, you know, it's, I love my uplift desk. I wish I would have known that you were going to do that. I would put mine on. Um, but <laughs> yeah, I, being able to stand, and I have the, like where my computer, like I talked about my streaming computer on the side, it actually mm -hmm. is attached to the bottom of it. And I can raise it up. And so it goes right. up with it. So your cables don't get janky. We both, I know, have the Elgato key lights, which actually are clamped to the desk. And so that makes it really, really easy. You never have to adjust your lights because they're always going up with you at the same time. So very, very cool. So I'm going to talk about my newest thing. And I now that I have it, I'm using it every day. And I don't, I one, it's so big, I can barely get into the the camera. So let me see if I can pull up a picture of it. Um, but it's, it's monstrous. Um, where did I put it? So let's see. Um, oh, I don't know if I have it. But it's, it's I have the new Odyssey uh, widescreen monitor. So Ooh. it's like having two twenty-seven inches of uh, of computer all together. So it's it's pretty impressive. I, I thought I put up a um, maybe I didn't I didn't save it or something. Oh, here it is. So I'm gonna pull this up. Here it is. So this is just a picture of my my setup. And I know I took it the wrong format, but um, that is how big it is. I mean, it is huge. It's curved. It's supposed to be curved to the, you know, the space of your eyeball. You can see my whole setup there. I'll talk about my uh, loop deck in a little bit, but there you go. Um, that's how it's, I mean, really it's monstrous, but it looks really curved from the side, but when you sit there in front of it, it doesn't, um, it, it doesn't get distorted for me at least. So I really, really like that. Oh, where'd you go? Paul, are you still there? Well, this is weird. Paul, are you around? I lost you. Do 
it still shows I'm live. Paul, if you can join in, that's what uh, I think we're... Let's see what's going on here. I wonder if he lost his internet connection this time. All right, well, we'll just keep on going. If you guys can't, can hear me, let's see here. Uh, he's in the software. He's just sent his connection, so... Um, if you guys can hear me in the live show, let me know in the comments down below. I don't sure why Paul got kicked off here. That is really, really weird. Um, Paul, try joining in the link. There he goes. It says you're in the green room. Uh, there you are. Can you hear me? I can't hear you now. Did somebody kick you off the internet? Because it shows we're still live. Oh, he just locked off again. This is what is so fun about live video, folks. And this is why I like Ecamm, which is what I'm using. I actually can kind of reboot stuff, and he can come back on. So uh, give us a second as we figure out what is going on here live, and uh, we'll keep on going. So I'm going to go ahead and talk about... Uh, while Paul's trying to get back in, is my actual um, right here. What happened now? There it is. Um, this is the Loop Deck device. Now, I have used this. I started using this every day this year. And, um, oh, there he comes in. Let me let me go ahead and pull him back in. Let's see if I can get him here. Do, do, do. Sign guest one. You there? Can you hear me? Can you say something so I know you're live? Can you hear me now? Yeah, you're back. Okay. That was weird. I'm not sure what happened. Sorry about that. All of a sudden, it just says you can rejoin. <laughs> well, good. So I was talking about... Um, <laughs> let me, let I me saw your setup. It looks great. Yeah. So I was like, much not impressed him much because he wasn't saying anything. <laughs> um, but, and you're, I mean, it's still like you just froze on me again. So... I don't know if it's internet connections or what's going on. So let me... Yeah, you're still here, but you're frozen. So, hmm. Let's, that's a great picture, by the way, of Paul. So let me go to this, and I'll keep on talking about my loop deck. This is um, a piece of software, a piece of hardware that I actually... Here we go that I actually use uh, every day because I do a lot of video editing. And this thing allows me to actually, uh, whatever program I'm in, especially like for Adobe products, it allows me to actually, um, it changes the keys. It's kind of like the Stream Deck, but it's built more for um, video, audio production. This turns into a, uh, a uh, scroll wheel. This, ch this clock changes to like be a color um, palette where you can actually like adjust your colors as you're, um, editing video if you're doing some color correction um, all these change to what and you can all program all this stuff but having these physical knobs where I can like use I use this one to zoom in on my timeline in Adobe and you can actually you know trim and do everything super super fast with this just this one device in fact what I usually do is put my mouse over to the side and just edit video directly with this because I can have all these buttons and just go boom boom boom, boom and I can trim them up cut them up really really fast uh, and the buttons are really cool like you can see all these things, you can scroll between them, uh, and they, this is just because I'm on my desktop right now, but these all change depending on the program. So, like, when I go to a Adobe Audition, all these change for Adobe Audition-specific tasks, and the same thing with um, Premiere. When I go into Premiere, um, it does the same thing. So, there's, there's a ton of presets that come with it. There's some that um, you can create yourself. There's a whole interface that you can change things up if you want, but it is really, really great to... Um, for, for editing or audio production. I know there's some logic plug, 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 plug-ins if you're into that. So uh, this is very, very cool. So Paul is in the green room. Let me pull you in again. Let me go in here. Are you there, Paul? I am here. I am not sure what's going on. I'm sorry about that, but I'm here for now. Yeah, so I, I'm, going, just, I've just been, <laughs> uh, I just keep on, I just, sure. I can just keep on talking. So there we go. You're back. <laughs> So I talked about my loop deck, which I love for the editing. You've seen it before. It's that uh, controller. Yeah. So uh, you're up. And I'm going to, I'm just pulled it off 
This is one of the things I got this year. Again, as part of my office redo, it is a light bar. It's the Qantas light bar. It sits right on top of your monitor. I have a two monitor set up and I don't have the big curve one. I just have two monitors. And, you know, I've seen people on YouTube and other places doing the desk setups and everybody kept saying, you have to have one of these. I mean, I don't get it. But I took a chance and ordered one and it really does make a difference. I love this thing. It lights up your desk space. Uh, and one of my goals for doing this, uh, you know, office redo was was trying to create some more desk space for myself. So when I did want to write or I needed to work on the desk, not just with the keyboard and computer, that I could do that. And these having two of these really do light up the desk and make a huge difference showing your keyboard or if you're writing, it's really neat. It, I had no idea that I would love this thing as much as I do. So I've seen them before. I, this, don't you get reflection off your monitor though, or is it not? No, it shoots straight down. Um, and you can see here's the lights. It, okay. it It's built so that it shoots straight down. It doesn't get on the monitor at all, but it does eliminate the, illuminate the whole desk. Well, that's really cool. It's so, really, yeah. I would not have thought. I was like, I've been always like, eh, it's going to, you know, it's, it's going to be, anyway, I, I, I'll have right. to try it now you know, more light is good. All right. So, uh, once again, this seems kind of ridiculous. Not, it doesn't seem ridiculous, but, um, <laughs> people may wonder why, oh, there it is. Um, so one of the things that I have, I use every day and right now it's actually doing Amazon where the, the things is, is I have this iPad mini and I have this off to the side, right beside I'm left-handed. So it's over here and I have, uh, an Apple pencil. And I use this to take notes because before everything I would do, I'd have these sticky notes and they were all stuck around and I couldn't find them. And anyway, this way, like when I have an idea or I need to like not even type out to my like on my to do list, but I'm like, hey, I need to call Paul and I can just go over here and 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 then it syncs between my devices because I'm using just notes and I have it on my phone. I have it on my iPad, my big iPad at home at in the house. And so having this with my pencil and being able to. Um, you know, take notes with stuff. I know it sounds like, you know, you probably ought to use it other than for just, you know, an iPad. Uh, you know, I mean, just for note taking, but I do. I mean, I, like right now, you can see I'm controlling, like I forgot to highlight it, uh, my carousel for the show because I use my camera on my phone above me. <laughs> so it also is great for doing other tasks. Oh, there it is. So the new, and these new Apple, um, uh, iPad minis, I just think are handy. I think they're a great size for like sitting on the couch and reading. Uh, so I really, really like these as well. So um, the, the iPad mini for taking notes, I, it's another thing I just use every day. That's a really cool idea. I like the idea of just having a place to take notes all the time and then having it sync. Yeah. That's because capturing ideas I, is the big deal for me. I live on post-it notes. And See, it's that's terrible, what I did. I did too. And it's a terrible thing because now I just have stacks of them and I have to, schedule a time to go through them and put them into something well and the yeah. other cool thing is because also i can use this to sign documents with like when i need to do like a, right. a loan chain i can just sign it with this and my apple pencil and the actual these um this is the first generation apple pencil because my version of the um ipad mini you can't use the new one now i have the new one on my ipad pro which i love the new pencil but this is great um it's just kind of weird to charge it but other than that, I just have this here beside me all the time. So I'll t here's a recent upgrade I did. And another one I didn't know. I had so many friends telling me to go try it, and I didn't think I would like it. I actually tried two different models. And I, when I put this on, I haven't taken it off since. I've been wearing it every day. <laughs> and that is the, uh -huh. um, the Apple Watch. Come on. Come on, camera. The Apple Watch Ultra. Oh, so um, why did you go with the ultra? That's the question I want to know. So Yeah. And, and that's the thing. I, 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 so I actually ordered the eight and the ultra at the same time. Cause I thought I was like, it's just too big, right? It's just too big. And compared to the eight, first of all, compared to the eight, it's not as big as I thought it was. Mm -hmm. it, it is yeah, bigger, hold it up it it is a little heavier. Um, I love the idea that I can wear this multiple days and not have to charge it. Okay. I'm you know, usually I am charging it at night, but especially when traveling and, you know, for out late or I forget to plug it in, or, you know, if, if everybody in the family has already used all the USBs, uh, <laughs> I know that my watch is going to last me a couple of days and that's cool. Um, 
I also, the screen is so much, e I'm wearing glasses, right? right. <laughs> I'm at that age where I need readers. And this watch is so much easier to read than my six was. Um, the eight was a little better, but this screen for it's flat. Um, it, there's no curve to it. And for me, the readability is huge. Dang it. I, I'm able to, and I really love it. it so I super, love that's, th so that's the other thing that I was going to, I actually have it on there is the eight. Um, because this is another thing, if it broke, I would go out and get it, you know, that day. So, um, I love it. I, I, I use it every day. In fact, my watch band just broke my favorite one. I just had to order one. It lasts me two years, but, um, I had to get a one. I had other, other, other things. The cool thing. So I'm going to give you a little hack that I use for when, like I'm driving. And I think I've shared this like at, at momentum, um, but I actually, one of the cool things about the Apple Watch is being able to change faces. And so yes. when I drive, I have a special face that I use just for driving. It's got, I can click on this and it'll go right to my navigation. This is, of course, my battery. Uh, this is my podcast player. I use Overcast. And I'm always listening to podcasts. And being able to hit on this, I can pause it. I can go to the next one or whatever. Um, but here's the key. I have this app called Just Press Record. And so I'll listen to a podcast. I can hit this button, pause it, and then say, hey, that was a great thing Paul said about his podcast. And it records it and it transcribes it. And I have a little note. And I can do this all while I'm driving. So this is a special face that I've set up on my Apple Watch. And now for, she's talking for some reason. But um, it's just something I use all the time, being able to have a special face for a special task. The other hack that I use is with these changing faces is that like when I'm on um on on my um like downtime like on the weekends i'll change it to mickey mouse because i'll know i need to not be working i need to be with my family and mickey mouse reminds me of like hey you know it's okay to mickey mouse around a little bit and have some fun and that's cool. that way i look at my watch and i i realize that hey quit worrying about where you're at and just be present that's a great tip i started using that app too uh and you and added it to my watch right. But I found because I left it on all the time, I was bumping it and ending up with, you know, 10 uh, or 20 employees during the week. But the idea of only using it when you're driving, that's mm -hmm. a great idea. I, I'm yeah, gonna, it's a I'm special. And so one, because I'm, I'm, I like to use my navigation, too, because it, it taps you where, you, you know, right, when you right. get, need to get off or whatever. And so I like having that on the, the face and also that just press record because I do take a lot of notes. So, uh, yeah, really cool. That's cool. All right. I'm bending over to grab one that... Uh, so I got this a few months ago. This is Crozer K R O S E R travel bag. This is the the one that holds a 17 inch bag. Um, this bag, first of all, it's super comfortable, which I was kind of surprised with a bag of this size. I didn't think I was going to like it, but I've fallen in love with this bag and actually gotten a couple of friends to buy them too. They make it in, in a couple of different versions. So one of my friends got the bigger, even bigger version. Um, but one of the things I struggled with in my other bags, a couple of things. One, I hate bags that just flop over. Right. Um, so this, it, it doesn't stand perfectly all the time, but pretty much when I set this down, it stands up. Uh, it doesn't automatically flop over. I love that. But also my, the bag I was using before this, I couldn't, I could put my laptop in, I could put my iPad, but after that, I struggled with getting anything else in it. This has a nice big middle pocket that is huge. Um, so I'm able to keep, you know, I have a bag with all of my cables and connectors and, you know, whatever stuff that I need to carry with me when I'm traveling, that goes in there. Um, you know, one of our, we both use these on the, on right. the cruise, the, the little adapters that you can put in your cruise room, that's in there. Um, it's got a place for my glasses. Again, um, I'm struggling with that reading thing. Um, <laughs> so keeping my glasses there, a uh, good padded space for the, for the laptop in the back a pocket for the iPad and then still more pockets that I'm not even making full use of yet. Yeah. This bag has been fantastic. Um, yeah. And like when we're traveling, I keep this in the front cause this is where like our passports and everything mm -hmm, like this. Mm -hmm. Um, you probably got one of these two from the wish, right? Right. That stays right in the front pocket and has our, you know, vaccine cards our passports and all those important documents right there in the front. Yeah. This bag has been great. Love it. I love, yeah. I love the size of that. So very, very cool. Yeah, it even has, and this is really cool. This is one of the, it has a hidden pocket on the back pad. So if you did want to put some things that, um, you know, is more secure because it's on your back, that's a great spot for it too. That is cool. Very, very cool. All right. So um, I talked about my iPad mini. 
So this is the actual. Um, I love I love my pro, and this is another thing that one. I'm trying to kind of head up to the things that I would like. I would go get. Um, what is going on with my camera here? There it is. Um, this is the case for my iPad Pro. Uh, this is the Logitech one, and I've talked about this before, but I love this. I love it has a kickstand that'll just sit up there. I like this better than Apple's official keyboard case. I just think it it's better. I like it that it's detachable. Like I can take this off and just have it as a kickstand. Um, but I, I really enjoy typing on this. In fact, I use this every morning, and I use this to type my journal that I that I've been keeping for the last three years um, with this because it's just got, it just feels good and it's and it's backlit and so you can do it in the dark. It also and I'll put this up a little higher has a trackpad on it, so it just it's like it's really close to a laptop with the new iOS um, that that's that they're putting out on the uh, the the their tablets. It's just really really close, and I use this when I'm doing research, when I'm doing writing. Um, watching movies. I love putting my um, AirPod Pros on and actually having it while I watch a movie because it has that spatial audio that's now with the AirPod uh, Pros. Mm -hmm. It's really good. And this screen is just super clear and crisp. And so I don't want to bug everybody, but I just really like this this case. The only thing is, is you got to be careful putting it in a bag because this can, this is just on there with a, with your magnet, keeping it charged with the, the new Apple Pencil that I mentioned before, the, the newest, the second generation. Um, but other than that, I love this case. I've had it for two years, three years. The only thing is it's bubbling a little bit around the speakers. But other than that, uh, I really like it. The, the reason I went with this case is because of the corner protection. Even Apple's um, cases don't have – they have it, like, on the sides but not on the corners. And when you drop it, it's always going to hit the corner and ding up. So um, I just really like it that it has corner protection all the way around. Um, I, like I said, use this every day and it doesn't add, it does add some weight, but it doesn't add too much weight where it's, you know, uncomfortable to, to carry around, you know, if you want to take it to church or whatever you're doing with it, it, uh, it's just a great, great case for your iPad. This is the pro, uh, model. They have them for the other, uh, additions as well. So highly recommend the Logitech uh, cases. Yeah, that's a nice one. Um, all right. So my next one is, and I'm hoping I can get it to actually do its thing. <laughs> we talked, if you were at momentum, we talked about, uh, you know, goals. And if you're, if you're making big goals, then they need, you need to put them out and have them visible. And so I'm still working on like a whiteboard or something that I can put some of my big goals on. But one of my goals for 2023 is to hit a hundred thousand subscribers on our YouTube channel. Cause, yeah, and this is just a vanity metrics, but I want the play button back here. Right. <laughs> right. Um, right. So, and it's not doing it yet, but I finally called Amazon finally put these on sale during the holidays. And so I oh, ordered very a cool. barrel counter, and I'm hoping it's going to go off here. And I sent an update to it, so I'm hoping it's going to start counting here in a second. Um, but yeah, it this counts up my YouTube subscribers and updates. You you can set it to update in real time or every you know six hours, right? <laughs> so it, and you don't have to listen to it clack clack clack. But it is the actual flipping tiles. So okay, if it, if it actually works. Um, my internet. So is, is it just for YouTube or does it actually work for other socials as well? So th th that's what I was gonna say. So I got the one that's customized and has my logo on it. Uh -huh. You can buy them that's just specifically for Facebook or YouTube or, or Instagram. They, they have ones that are branded just for Instagram and, and Facebook. I bought the one that's customizable. And then with their software, you can actually, you know, basically write a query to pull up whatever number you want. Um, so I'm using it right now for you. And here it goes. Um, oh, cool. I'm using Look it for YouTube right now. And so when I, if I do hit a hundred thousand this year, which we're at 73,000, come on folks, we're at 73,000. <laughs> um, so I'll, I'll change it and use it for something else after that, you know, maybe right. like Shopify orders or something else. So that, and that, so that's what it looks like when it's, it's clicking. It's, uh, it's when it, when it does go off, it's really cool because. So if you go over a hundred thousand, you can't use it anymore. That's what you're saying. Correct. Okay. Correct. They still, they do cool. make and they sell them in different digit ranges. So I've got mm. this one because I wanted to count up to that hundred range, right? Um, but you can get them in, with more digits or less digits. So if you're trying to get like to like ten thousand or something, you can do the smaller ones. That's cool. That is very cool. So uh, this is, I mean, you know, things we use every day, and I, I don't. I guess I do use it every day. I'm I'm, I'm not going to say I don't. So I got the um, last year at, uh, during a sale. 
um, I got the Blink Outdoor Cameras, and I love these things. The app on it is super slick, um, and I'm actually using, I got the three, this one came with the three uh, different ones, and the batteries will last up to a year. And it's wireless, which was really important for me because I didn't want to have to, you know, you know, fish wires throughout my house or whatever. But it's got night vision. The app is really, really cool. You can set zones for it to to uh, um, head off. The thing that I seem to be using it the most for is like, uh, oh, UPS came, woohoo, and I get to run out and get it. <laughs> That's the cool thing. But um, so I've got two of them set up now, but I want to show what the, uh, the, the third one, and I'm going to mount it probably at a, on a side angle. But they're only about this size. And they're super easy to put on. They actually sell an attachment where you can actually run it with solar power all the time and not have to use batteries. But they just take these um, these ultimate lithium uh, batteries, and they this set came with it as well. Um, like I said, it's super easy to set up. It actually, I think I pay the nine dollars a month, which lets me keep unlimited recordings of um, the whatever it shows up. So I mean, I've caught some deer out in our property, which is kind of cool. Um, but it just snaps on, and then you just drill it, uh, and it, you can just adjust it really, really easy. And I just sat there with my camera and looked until I got the perfect spot. And um, you can actually talk back and forth. Like, I was at Momentum, and my wife was letting our dog out. And I went, hey! And I scared the bejesus out of her, and she fell down and, like, uh, didn't. It was hilarious. And I got it on recording. So that's awesome, too. But uh, you can talk, like, if you had a delivery person or something like that, you could talk back and forth. The night vision is really, really well, goes really, really well. I have it on the outside of my office, but I have been super impressed with these Blink uh, cameras and being able to have them be wireless and be out, like this can get rained on and stuff and it's fine. So really, really cool. And thanks to you and making me spend money on the show. Um, <laughs> you mentioned those before when we were talking. Right. And so mine came in, I, I just set mine up yesterday. Oh yeah. And the app is super, I'm, I'm it so is. impressed. It's the easy. app is very easy to use. Uh, we went out and we're running some errands today, and I got a couple, you know, notifications, and it sent, showed even on my watch. It showed me the little yeah. thumbnail of what the recording was. I'm loving it. It's yeah. really funny when like wasps or moths get in it, and like what? Oh, that was the UPS. It's just a moth. But yeah, we had a, we had a stray cat wandering around the deck <laughs> at 3 a.m. Right. this morning, so I got a picture of that. Yeah, uh, it was pretty cool. Uh, my daughter has some friends over there binge watching some show on Netflix that dropped today. And uh, so they were leaving late last night and I, I sent them a recording of them, you know, being mm -hmm. funny out in the yard. I'm like, here, here you go. Yeah. Um, they love that too. And that's the, I was really, I couldn't believe it. You know, you just hit share Yeah. and it just sends the, it doesn't send a link. It sends a video Yeah. Uh, it's really, super fast. It's really slick. And I, I've, yeah. I've been real impressed with them. I, I'm probably going to get one cause I want to use it almost like a gaming camera and set it out to our back pasture. And I'm going to get one of those solar, uh, kind of mm -hmm. in enclosures and just have it run that way. But yeah, it's, they're slick. And it also just gives you peace of mind. Like I know when I go, like you, you and I travel for conferences or whatever, right. being able to like check that she's okay. Or, and just that peace of mind, like, Hey, people see those cameras. They're like, Oh, okay. They're, they're being monitored. So it yeah. just makes, makes me feel good. So that's one I use every day now. That's cool. All right. And I've talked about this one before too. Um, but it's one I do use all the time when I'm traveling. It's the EHO charger. What I love about this is, first of all, it's um, the top slot is 100 watts. The top two slots are USB-C, and they're both 100 watt output. Because I've had a charger, I talked about. I think I told you about this before, is I had a charger that wasn't outputting enough and killed a Mac. Um, mm. And it, I had to take it into a repair shop, and we had to work on it before it would even turn back on because it killed, killed the battery. Wow. Um, but yeah, you get three USB C's, two that are 100 watt, and then one regular USB. It's super small, so I'm able to carry this with me. And this thing has just been great. Uh, I know you know everything now is coming with USB C's, anyways. Mm -hmm. um, and so being able to keep my my MacBook charged, but also fast charging my iPhone, keeping everything else plugged in. Yeah, I love this thing. It's it's been really nice. So on that note, how do you know that you have enough power and don't run into that issue? I mean, do you have to like does you have to look at the bottom of your Mac and say, oh, you have to have this sort of charger. How did you, I mean, how do you know? Yeah, yeah the guy at the store, he, that was the first thing he said. He, he, he said, what kind of charger are you using? And I showed him. I was like, yeah, man, that thing, that thing's outputting at like 60 watts. So it wasn't, it was draining um, more than it was charging. And so over time, the battery just got to where it, it couldn't handle it. Um, 
Okay. It was a weird thing. I'd never had that happen on a laptop before. So he, he's the one that recommended, he said, go find one that it has at least a hundred watt output. Um, and so that's what I went and found one that did that. So some of there these other go. chargers, like if you're trying to use like a brick that's designed really for phones, it's not one you want to use for, for MacBooks or, or Windows PCs, stuff like that. It's just yeah. not enough use. Important safety tip by Paul Gowder there on your Mac. Yeah. So that's important. So um, you mentioned that, I, I think you told me that you, you've seen a lot of, you use yours a lot too, but uh, I love uh, my Kindle. And so um, this is actually, it's got the, the cover on it. And let me pull it up here. Um, I forgot, where did I put it? I'm not, that's a problem when you don't go in order. You're like, oh, um, here it is. <laughs> so uh, this is the actual, this is the Kindle Oasis. And I love this one. Um, I use this once again every day. Um, and I don't think I have the, you can hold a ton of books on it. I think I have the lowest, you know, space that you can get for the Oasis. Um but I really like the form factor of the Oasis. I loved having physical buttons here that I can actually uh, turn or I can actually use my finger. But the e-ink, if you've never used, uh, looked at the, the new readers, it is just like reading a book. And the thing that I did not like, and I had a, probably from the very beginning, the, the first Kindle that came out because I read a lot, is um, it used to flash when you would turn the pages and that kind of bugged me and it was really hard to get over. But now, as you can see, it's almost instantaneous that it just goes, um, and it's quick, and it's crisp. I mean, I'll pull it way up. It's just, it looks like print. It really does. You can change the font and the sizes and all that stuff, but I love this thing. It's got a backlight, and the original reason I went with the Kindle Oasis is they were the first one that came out with a warm backlight, and it allowed, um, you know, because everyone's talking about blue light's bad for you when you sleep, and I usually read before I go to bed, and so that was really attractive to me. So it's got a warm backlight, that's adjustable. Um, it also um, is waterproof, so you can actually take it to the beach or to the pool and, you know, read there and not worry about a splash getting it all wet. And um, the other thing is this has no bevels on it. It's just, it's all smooth here at the top. I really, really like that. It does have a little kind of like a holder where the battery is kind of that you can grip it with. You don't want to drop this on your nose at night. It does hurt, but it's not too heavy. Uh, and this, it, it, this is, uh, they have sets that come with a case. This is a separate case that I like. You can tell it's kind of getting some wear there. But like I said, I use this every day uh, and I just love the form factor. I love how small it is, how light it is. Throw it in a bag, take it with you to the beach um, and do your reading there. But I love the Kindles. And I, once again, if I lost it or broke it, I would go back out and get it the very next day. Yeah, I love my Kindle and it, they're so small and light to just throw in a bag and take yeah. anywhere. Uh, yeah. It, on our recent travels, it goes with me to the pool. It goes with me to the beach. It's, it's yeah. Love right. that. So, and, <laughs> and I can't, my wife will let me buy physical books anymore because I have too many and we ran out of space. So I have them all in here. Yeah. Um, yeah. I lo yeah. I love mine. All right. So my next one, uh, if I'm, I you can't see it because it, it's again, it, it's in another room. So, and that is the spark pot. So let me tell you how I got to this. First off, like many of you, um, I, I got into those, you know, TikTok made me buy it. And I saw this video, this, this viral video of a shower head that was like outputting so much water, it was going to rip the skin right off your body. And I ordered it and it was like a drip. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. This is awful. Um, so then I went on Amazon and actually read reviews and tried to find a shower head that would actually give me decent water pressure. And this thing blew, blew me away in the shower, <laughs> literally. But it's so impressive of how much it, of pressure it's actually putting out uh, with such, it, it's, it's not that big um, and a great price. It's, they're inexpensive. Uh, mm -hmm. looks like Amazon got them 40% off right now. Um, it's really good. And you know, I, I, when we travel, I hate going into a room that doesn't have good water pressure. You feel like you can never get the shampoo out your hair. Um, not that I have as much as I used to, but, <laughs> um, right. right. But you know, and then coming home, I love having a good shower head that gives me that good water pressure. And this thing, it has been surprisingly good. And that's when I went and found it, you know, 40,000 reviews. Uh, yeah, they were right. This is a great product. That is very, very cool. All right. So I think we got time for about one more each. Is that good? Right. Cause we're, we're running up here and this is, I, I, and I just, this is a recent thing, but I, I have it with me 
all the time. I hope I don't have to use it every day. But it is, this is a, um, the NOCO Boost X. And it is a big, giant lithium battery. But it lets me um, charge, jumpstart cars that may be stranded. I don't know, um, back in the old days, I remember having to go down ditches and stuff, trying to get my car close enough to be able to jump somebody, you know, help them out or get my car jumped. And so having this is just really great. Um, gives you a lot of peace of mind. The cool thing about this, since it is just a big giant lithium battery, you can actually like run your laptop off of it or uh, charge your phones or something in an emergency. And the other thing with this big beast is that it's got a light on it. So you can actually have it side of the road if you need it and um, have it uh, ready for emergencies. It's got a strobe on it, all sorts of things. So um, I just, one, peace of mind. Um, I'm probably going to get one each for my kids to have in their car. Uh, it holds its light. You know, you want to watch it when it's cold weather because, you know, it does suck lithium down. Um, but I keep this in my truck on my Jeep, and uh, I just really, really like it, having that peace of mind. But I really like this. Uh, and it's one of those things I will have in my car every day, even if it's just helping other people out at the side of the road where I don't have to try to finagle my Jeep down on the side of a parking lot <laughs> to help them out and jump them and just have this and put it on there. So this is really, really cool. Yeah, that's on my list to buy when my daughter, um, she can't take her car to school this year, but next year she does. So I want to get a couple of things like that. So yeah, it has that yeah. peace of mind. So my last, th last one is the same kind of thing, having that peace of mind. Um, and it's still sitting in my trunk. I didn't get it, but you can pop it up on screen. Yeah. And this is the Vac Life, Vac Life tire inflator. Oh, yeah. So I, I drive a car that doesn't have a spare. And we've had a couple instances where that was a problem. Um, we we're driving home one day and, and hit a nail and then had to wait for somebody to come get us. And it took a little longer than expected. Uh, and then even recently, I had to put some new tires on the car and uh, one of the valves didn't get, this was just yesterday, did, didn't get installed correctly. So I go out in the morning and all of a sudden my tire pressure in one of them is down to 15 PSI. I was able to pull this out, put the tire back up to what it needed to be, drive over to the tire place and, and they were, you know, they fixed it in 10 minutes. Um, but again, having that peace of mind is just nice. And knowing that uh, without that spare, being able to pump a tire back up, get right. back on the road if we need to because we are you know we're on the road a lot um and that was when we had our first little experience with the flat uh, <laughs> my yeah. wife was less than thrilled with the um the ability of not having or the lack of having a spare and the you know we're running the risk so right. this is one of the things that at least gives us that little bit of peace of mind that if we're if we're out and about we can still pump up enough to get us somewhere um Right. And it works really great. It puts out a lot of power. It, it pumps them up pretty quickly. Uh, I was impressed with the size of it and how much it was able to really um, pump up tires quickly. Yeah, those are great. And it looks like it was a great size to fit in your trunk or wherever. So does your Tesla, Tesla have a spare tire? No. Oh, it doesn't. I thought it would just hover yeah. off the ground or something like it. Yeah, yeah. Fly <laughs> it back. Okay. Well. That's the next version. Yeah, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's the right. that's basic version. Um, Yes, that's, right. that's the upgrade I didn't get. No, yeah, there's no spare in those. Uh, even though you do get a ton of trunk space with not having an engine or whatever, mm -hmm. they could have probably put one somewhere. But you know, um, but talking yeah. to some other friends, some of the newer, just regular, um, yeah, uh, Russian my, engine cars, they don't come with spares either nowadays. So, right, my girlfriend, kind of my my not my girlfriend, my son's girlfriend has the same thing. <laughs> Uh, yeah, she had, we had the same issue. She didn't have a spare. Yeah. Uh, so, well, anyway, thank you guys for watching today. Uh, we'd love for you guys to give us a follow at jeffc.live. That's my Amazon storefront and, or also go over to Paul, go to both of them go to paulgowder.com forward slash live. He does lives at different times as well as me. And it's great if you could give us a, a both a follow over there. We appreciate you. Appreciate you, Paul. This has been fun as always. Thanks. We'll and hope, hope to see you soon. Thanks everybody. Yep. See you. Bye. See everybody later.